Hi, this is Ryan Bacon with KWHS News. Welcome to our first newscast of the school year. We have some new cast members. You'll be meeting them soon. I have a couple of quick reminders before I send you over to Cindy Hedricks for an update on the weather. Students, do not forget that picture day is Wednesday, September 29th. Also, any senior that may be interested in attending Fort Hayes State University next school year, the representative will be there on the 29th as well to answer questions and share information. Also, do not forget breakfast and lunch are free of charge for all students. There is also second chance breakfast, and students can grab a breakfast to go between first and second periods of the day. As promised, here's a look at the weather. Over to you, Sydney. Thank you, Ryan. This is Sydney Hendricks, and let's take a look at the forecast. It's been unusually hot for this time of year. If you're tired of the higher temperatures, you'll have to hang on a bit longer for any sustainable relief, but it is coming. Daytime highs have been running 10 degrees or so above normal lately, and that trend will continue until early next week. Between now and then, expect highs to remain in the 90s and lows in the 60s. Expect lots of sunshine as well. Precipitation chances do increase slightly early next week, though, and if that forecast holds, temperatures should start a downward trend with highs settling back down into the 80s at about the same time. Fall will be here soon, folks. After this word from our sponsor, Impact Bank, some sports updates for you and more. We'll be right back. Teamwork is a powerful thing. Working together for a common goal, gaining skills, rising above challenges, and cheering each other on all the way. The power of a team is what community is really all about. People coming together to make life better. Ask us what makes our community special, and we'll say it's a shared commitment to rise above our challenges, to cheer each other on in moments just like these. Welcome back. I'm Maddie Nance, and Josh Atkinson will be joining us very soon, as the two of us bring you up to date on recent sports activities and results. The past Friday at WHS, a rock and pep assembly was held to introduce this fall's sports participants, and also enjoy the many talents of our Crusader Band cheerleaders, our Crimson Dancers, our Winter Guard flag team, and more. Mr. Luke Smith was the master of ceremonies, and it was a great way to wrap up the week in preparation for the weekend action. Josh, please tell us about some of this past weekend's activities. I sure will, Maddie, and thank you. I am Josh Atkinson. We want to bring you up to speed on some of last weekend's action here at home. We had 13 runners in action, three ladies and 10 gentlemen, all represented well in the JV girls and JV boys, two more races they participated in. This was the group's first action this season. Congrats to Ryan Bacon, a junior here at WHS, and a Hunter Lowe, also a junior. The two finished first and second respectively in a 49-person race. Great job, guys. Now back over to Maddie with a look at Crusader football. Maddie? Thank you, Josh. It was a mixed bag for the Crusaders at their opener Saturday versus the Spartans. There were good moments and not so good moments. The Spartans, now 2-0, scored in every quarter, sustaining momentum and securing the 35-13 win. Despite that, the Crusaders did shine at times, including quarterback Malachi Rogers rushing for nearly 200 yards. Brody Weir, just a freshman, caught a five-yard pass from Rogers late in the game for six points. Not many freshmen in the Iron Duke record books for touchdowns. Great job, number five. We're proud of you. The entrance to the field by Crusaders was awesome. It was the 20th anniversary of the attack on the World Trade Center in New York. First responders were honored on the field for all they do for us year round. We thank you sincerely. It's time for another quick break as we share information about our sponsor, Impact Bank of Wellington. We'll be right back with the first newscast of the 21-22 wrap up. Some investments are more important than others. Giving to the next generation is at the top of the list. For us, investing in kids means providing new tools for exploring creativity, unlocking the secrets of money management, and increasing opportunity for everyone. If you ask us what makes a bank a community bank, we'll say it's helping to create hundreds of aha moments just like these. Welcome back. Before we wrap it up, we wanted to introduce our cameraman, Stella Reif. She's been working very hard behind the scenes. We're so glad to have her as a part of our team. Thank you, Stella. We thank everyone for watching our first newscast of the school year. We'll be back soon, and until then, go Big Red. Good. Yeah.
Okay. Yeah.